Natalie Hardy. Welcome to I, the I Pray Experience with SABWB San Antonio in black, white, and brown. We are working here and pray, praying here, serving God here to advance his kingdom purposes in the city of San Antonio, through the city of San Antonio. And we know that the most powerful way to do that and most important way to do that is through the power of prayer. So we're here every Friday morning at 10 o'clock to seek the face of God with those who are gathered around this table and those of you who join us on this platform to pray with us. And so we thank you for joining us in prayer. And so let's let's pray this morning. Tomorrow, I mean today, uh, I um, really was feeling like um, we really need to focus in our praying on the fact that God sent his son to be a witness to the earth a witness to who he is, a witness to the kingdom of God. And he wants us to do the same. Jesus is the patterned son. And so I think now is a time for us to pray uh, that the body of Christ, wherever it is in our city, will wake up, every individual member will wake up, and to recognize that we are called to serve God wherever God has placed us. We are called to be lights in the midst of darkness. We are called to serve him in every capacity and to be ready to do that. And so I want us to pray this morning in that direction. We'll start there. We'll see where the Holy Spirit leads us. We may hit some specific things as we close before we close, but because there's so many things going on in yeah. our city. But uh, I want us to pray that at this particular point in time that the body of Christ will wake up wherever, we, wherever she is and will serve the Lord in that place. Okay? Awesome. So, Father, we just want to thank you and praise you for the privilege that we have in you to come together, to seek Thank your you, face, Lord, to yes. come into this most holy place of your presence and to cry Thank out you, to you. Lord, we know you, that as we do this, you always hear us when we pray. You hear us. You are listening for our voice. You are listening for our faithful cries. You are listening for us. And Lord, you, we know that you are listening not just to hear, to be entertained, but to, to hear our cries according to your word. And you stand by your word to perform it. And Lord God, we want to thank you for that. We want to thank you, Lord God, that you have given us everything that we need for life and godliness. You've already done it. And Lord, the most important thing that you've given to us is your precious Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Who lives inside of us. And that makes us unique creation, unique beings. There's nothing like us on the face of the earth. There's nothing like a born-again Christian on the face of the earth. We have the power of God living inside of us. And so I pray right now today in the name of Jesus that, Lord, we would be as you were in the earth, recognizing that we are here to represent our Father God where you have placed us. And we may be in difficult places, that you were surely in a difficult place. That's not a question. You were surely in a difficult place. But, Lord, we pray today that the body of Christ would be awakened to the call that is on our lives to serve you wherever, to look around our world and our immediate world and our immediate surroundings, our, our city, our state, our county, our world, our nation, and see where you are calling us to hear your voice saying, this is the way, walk in and go here, go there. As we read through the scripture, we can see that the, the, uh, the Christians of old, they did that. They listened for your voice. They, wear, they went where you told them to go. They served you in those places because they knew they were here to serve your purposes in the earth. And so we pray, Lord God, that in this amazing time that we're living in, Lord, we can see what darkness is endeavoring to do to cloud the minds of so many people, and people are running hill to skill to do all kinds of crazy things. But so now, more than ever, any other time, it is time for the body of Christ to rise up and to point the way to you, to show the world to you, to show the world that is caught and captured by the powers of darkness to the light that is in found and only in Jesus Christ, the one true light. And so we pray in the name of Jesus for that awakening to take place in the hearts of your people and that we will move out of our places of comfort, as it were. Amen. Yes. And we will serve you, Lord. you, Lord, where it is so desperately needed for your hand to reach for you to touch hearts and lives and minds. So we thank you, Lord God, for the various places where you are calling your people to stand up in these days and to serve you, filled with your spirit, armed with your love, and to serve you in those places. So, Lord, I pray, we pray today that you will do that. And we're going to cover the different places where we hear the Spirit of the Lord putting in our hearts, where we, we think the church should be serving you. 
And so we say, pray, pray, Lord God, that you will hear our prayers and you will begin to move your people out with purpose in those areas in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you for the privilege to come before your very presence, Lord God. And Lord, we just praise you, Lord, and we give you thanks for whom you are, Lord, and for no other reason. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, I just ask that there would be an awakening in the church body, Father Christ. Hallelujah. Let us rise, Father God. Many churches, but one body, Lord, one body. Yes, Lord God, for you are worthy, Lord, to be exalted, Father God. Father God, we claim this our city of San Antonio for you, Lord God, and for the king and for the kingdom, Father God. Yes, Lord God, this city belongs to you, Lord. So let us come out of our comfort zones, dear Lord, and let us do what let us be use us as disciples, Father God, to do what needs to be done here within our city. Lord God, you have no limits, Lord. You are worthy to be praised and honored and glorified. Father God, there are no other gods above you, Father. You are the great I am, my Lord. Yes, Father God. You are my King, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Healer, my Provider, Lord God. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that there would be a, a revival in every, every believer, Father God, here, here in San Antonio, Father God. Let us come together, dear Lord. Yes, let us come together, God, in these times that are so dark, dear Lord. Father God, I praise your name for you are worthy to be exalted. Yes, Lord God, you are worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Father. Glory be to your name. And Father God, as we seek you, Lord, and those that may not even begin to know how to pray, Father, let them simply start out by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So, Lord God, we ask that your will be done, Lord. Yes, in the name of Jesus, that your will be done, Heavenly Father. We glorify you and we give you thanks, Father, for you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Mm. Glory be to your name. Glory, glory, glory be to your name, Father. Yes, glory be to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, thank you that not only do you send us, but you equip us to go. And Lord, even as you read in the scriptures, you called your disciples, your early ones of all old. You said to gather in the upper room to wait for you, to seek your face. And they did that. And Lord, you told them that when they did that, something incredible was going to happen. They would receive power. That's what you said to them. You said they would receive power when the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they would be your witnesses in, in Samaria and Judea and Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. They would be your witnesses, and Lord, that is the pattern that we're following today. Lord God, your people are filled by your Spirit, become anointed by you, and you have called us to be your witness, to witness to who you are to witness to the truth of your word, to witness to the, to the truth of who you are. And so we pray, Lord God, that in this day, that the witnesses of God, the true uh, men and women of God who've been filled with your spirit will know who they are. They will get up and serve you where you have placed them. And that, Lord God, they will know that they're doing it as unto you. They will know they're doing it as witnesses of God. They will know it, Lord God, they are doing it because you have sent them. And we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, that you have indeed called us as witnesses. And we, the body of Christ, we we know it. We know it. And Lord, we are going boldly yes. where you tell us to go, where you have sent us. We are going boldly, Lord God. Not in our own strength, not in our own bravado, but under in a real spirit of humility, knowing that we are going to serve you, serving your purposes at every step of the way. We're listening for your voice, saying this is the way we walk in. Do this. Don't do that. Don't say this. Don't go there. Do this. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you that in this amazing hour that we're in, when the church is rising up more and more, that Lord, each one as we are rising up to our place that you have called us to be used of you, that we are rising up with a humble heart, with listening ears, with a readiness to walk in total and uh, 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 yielded obedience to you. Because we know, Lord God, that's the only way that your will is done. Yes, Lord. When we, the body of Christ, recognize that you didn't just call us to bless us, 
but to be a blessing, to be a blessing in the earth and where we live. And so we pray, Lord God, that in this amazing hour that we're in, that the church will hear your voice saying, this is the way we walk in it. And they will walk in it in their individual lives. They will serve you where you have placed them. And Lord, as we see this happening, there will be an amazing revival that takes place in our city because it happens in us first. And we take that wherever we go for you, wherever you send us. And we pray, Lord God, that you will do this in Jesus' name. Raise up your church. Raise up your church. Glory be to your name, Father, yes. We thank you, Lord. Glory. We thank you. Glory be to your name, Lord God. Glory be to your name. We thank you. Yes, it is for Father. your name's glory, for your name's sake, Lord. Not for any other purpose, but your name's sake. We thank you for raising up your church in this hour to serve you with boldness, to know, to have their confidence in you, not in themselves, but it's in you. Well, because it is in you that we live and move and have our being. No other place is in you. And so we thank you, Lord God, that your church is rising up, knowing who they are in you, to do the work that you've called us to do in every sector of society. Lord, that we are going to be that light in the midst of darkness. We're going to be those who speak at a school board meeting. We're going to be, whether we're a school board member or we're a parent of a child in that school, We'll be there. We'll be on duty for you. We'll serve you there. See the opportunity to speak your truth in the midst of darkness and confusion. We'll bring clarity. We say, Lord, use your church in this hour to be clarity in the midst of confusion, to be a straight line in the midst of crookedness. Oh, Lord, even as I'm saying, I'm reminded what you said uh, through, I guess it was Peter, at, 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 when, when the church was filled with the Holy Spirit, as recorded in the book of Acts, and, and that you told them that uh, the church needs to flee from this crook, crooked generation. And so here we are now. We still say the church Amen. needs to flee from the crooked generation. There is a crooked generation. Amen. But we, the church, are called to be those who are straight like you. Who, who know what we're doing. We have our eyes fixed on you and the goals and the, and the things that you've told us to do and we're moving forward without being deterred, distracted. And so I thank you, Lord God, that you are sending your people to school board, to, to businesses, to, to, to uh, uh, na uh, neighborhood associations, all kinds of places to speak for you, to represent you. We say, Lord, let it happen all over our city. Let a sound arise in the city of San Antonio where there's nothing else but the, the people of God taking their place like a crescendo in the spirit realm that goes forth and reverberates and it touches everything and affects everything, Lord. Only that can only happen by your spirit. And Lord, we're recognizing that what we're praying about is something that happens first in the spirit realm and then, ha then we see the manifestations of it in the natural we see things around us begin to change because something has happened in our spirits and we're recognizing that, Lord, we're working in, with you in the realm of the spirit, but also in the natural realm and trusting what you're doing in the spirit realm to affect and impact the natural realm. And so, Lord, we thank you and praise you that, Lord, we're in a day that as a body of Christ, we're getting away from uh, religious activities as such and we're moving into the... the everyday realities of life and bringing the power of who you are to bear in all those places. Lord, that's where we are. We recognize that that is where we are. And we need to serve you. We need to step up and serve you where you placed us. And we thank you for that. We thank you for the body of Christ Amen. rising in this hour to do just that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you what you're going to do. We thank you, Lord, for the ripple effects of all these things, all your people standing up, disturbing the waters, you're ruffling things. 
not just to the process. ruffle them, but to yeah. it just turns out that's what it is. When we go against the tide, that's what you did. You went against the tide, not just to do that, but because your ways are different from the ways of this world. And so by, by definition, it's going to be opposite. And so we want to thank you, Lord God, that now is a day for a, <clears throat> a bold and courageous church to stand up in every area that we must know who we are. We must know where you have sent us and that we must do what you've called us to do in those places. We thank you for it happening all over the city of San Antonio. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you that your church is relevant. It's relevant in this hour. It's yes. relevant in the political climate. It is relevant in our societies, in different sphere of influences, God. Yes. I just declare that the church, your bride, is relevant in this city, in this nation, Lord. Hallelujah. And God, we're taking back our relevance. We're not antiquated. We're not the, the thing of the past. We're not the, the weak um weak persons who look Amen. for something Amen. that they can hold on to without Thank believing you, in yes. science we are relevant body that has the answer and the solutions to life and so i just declare that over even the city right now god that the church is taking its rightful place we're taking a rightful position in this nation god we're taking a rightful place in the political arena, Lord, declaring and influencing and transforming. Yes. As we see throughout your word, Lord, yes. your people were the ones who turned the world upside down. Hallelujah. It didn't matter who, if it was Caesar or Herod or whoever was there, God, you... When your people step on the scenes, they were seen. They were recognized as yes. men who were bit, have been with you. And so I declare, God, that relevance is returning in this hour. I declare, Father, that your people again will become a voice to be reckoned with. That men, the leaders, political leaders, kings, legislators will go back to the church asking, Man of God, woman of God, what is the hour? What is the? What are you sensing? What should we do? God, I declare that the relevance of the church in this hour is being recognized again. The potent impact of your church is being realized again in our nations, in our city. Oh God, in the nations of our world, that no longer we will be sitting on the sidelines, hiding as it were, Gideon in the, the wine in the, in the wine press threshing wheat. But oh God, we will be voices as of one declaring the way of the Lord. Oh man. Make his pathway straight. <laughs> ah, repent and be baptized yes. for the remissions of your sin. We will not hide behind the shadows anymore, God, but we will be your voice. We yes. will be, oh God, that force to be reckoned with, that as we speak, you will back our words up. Yes. You will not let one of our words fall to the ground. So God, I just declare in the atmosphere this morning Hallelujah. that the relevance of the church returns. Hallelujah. And that Hallelujah. your people recognize their relevance, recognize their position, recognize their authority, and walk in such in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Hallelujah. And Lord, we will do it with boldness. We will do yes. it without fear. We will yes. do it with total confidence. Yes. Because, Lord, we know we're not leaning to our own understanding. Mm -hmm. We know we're not doing it in our oh, own strength. We're doing it in your strength. We're doing it under the unction of your spirit. We're doing it under the the, uh, un under the influence of the truth of your word. Your word is a lamp unto our feet Alleluia. and a light unto our path. And Lord, that is how we walk. That is where we work. work. That is where we walk. And Lord, we want to thank you, Lord God, for the church coming to a place of triumphant victory in these things. And not being allowed, not allowing the lies of the enemy to deter us, to, to turn us off track, off, 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 off our course, to cause us to walk in fear, to just bow down and Fear. Yes. Lord, yes. we know that fear is the opposite of faith. Yes. It is the exact opposite of faith. Yes. And Lord, you've called us mm. to be those who are not walking in fear, but in faith. Yes. Standing yes. in faith, Thank working in Jesus. faith, praying in faith. Yes. 
Thank Everything God. we do is is under the unction of the Holy Spirit and it's in faith. Yes. Yeah. And we thank you, Lord God, for faith-filled businessmen yeah. yeah. rising yeah. up in this yeah. hour, yeah. knowing yeah. that you have yeah. called yeah. them to that arena of business. Yeah. And it is not that it's yeah. antithetical yeah. to serving yeah. you, yeah. because they can serve you in any realm. Yeah. We can serve you in any sphere. Yeah. And we do it with our heart fixed yeah. on you. We do it, Lord God, to bring light in the midst of whatever darkness you may send us to. Yeah. And so we thank you and praise you for the church rising in this hour. Being confident in who she is. Yes. Not, not being bravado or any of those things, but walking in true humility, Lord God. Yes. But we recognize that, Lord, you've called us to this position to, mm -hmm. to serve you all over our city, all over our nation, all over our world, in all these different capacities, mm -hmm. all these different spheres, and all yes. these different categories. And, Lord, we say we will do it. <laughs> We say it on behalf of ourselves. We say yes. it on behalf of your church. Yes. We yes. will do it. Yes. We will serve you. We will gird ourselves yes. up with strength in you. Yes. And we will go where you say go. Father, I ask that you will lift our eyes from just the, what we see in the world. We've Amen. gotten so Amen. accustomed to looking at the scene circumstances and looking That's at right. datas and looking at um, isms and schisms that makes uh, our, our decisions. There's nothing in your word that says that's where we should put our eyes. Mm. Oh God, you said we should look to you. Oh God, you is where you are where our help come from, Lord. Yes. You are the one who created the maker of heaven and earth. And so God, we ask this morning that you begin to take our eyes from just the, the low demar mentality or what is seeing God and begin to see. You said in in, in um Hebrews, God, those who were looking for, if they were looking for this country in this natural realm, they would have an opportunity to return. But their eyes were set on a different country, on a different realm, on a different kingdom. And because of that, they were able to do exploits, God. I ask God that this morning you begin to lift the eyes of your church. Oh God, not only to see in this natural realm, because you said we are in the world, but not of the world. And so God, I ask that you will begin to help us to tap into our kingdom dominion, our kingdom authority, Hallelujah. our kingdom position yes. where we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. That, oh God, when we when we need things, we don't have to go and see who we can get uh, grants from. But your word, even when Peter needed, <laughs> needed taxes, you said go into the fish mouth Hallelujah. because you are able to create anything out of said. nothing, That's Lord. And said. so, God, when we need things, oh, God, God, I pray God, that you just strip us God, off of God, this God, of this. God, struggle and this 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 things that are tying us down to the earthly realm that we will begin to see the supernatural provision and the supernatural manifestation of you God in the earth realm God we cannot live in the earth realm and operate in the earth realm and see your supernatural God we have to go out to where you are and bring down what you've ordained into the earth so I ask this morning Lord that your bride begin to see in a different realm. They begin to believe with eyes of faith, like the stalwarts of faith, that what is impossible, a dead man's body who can't bring forth life, oh, will give birth to a son, or oh, will it be an unable to give birth? God, I pray, when there was no way, in, it's impossible for crossing Red Sea, but Red Sea was open. God, I pray for those days again in our time, that we're not looking and talking about when and it was and how it was back then and scriptures that we read and we skip over as if you are not the, still the same God that was yesterday in this day oh God we ask this morning that your bride become oh so energized with who they are again that they come into their position and we be seated in heavenly places and from that realm begin to legislate in the earth realm and watch it be manifest you promise us that greater works than this we shall do. You said. promise us, God, that we, if we ask anything of the Father, it shall be granted to us. And so, God, we ask this morning that you begin to keep take off the, 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 the things that are keeping us grounded in this earthly realm and begin to lift us up to where we belong in the heavenly realm. And our God, help us to begin to decree and declare and watch your word established in this land, Lord. 
And so, God, we pray over the elections. We declare, God, that these elections will come into alignment to the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. We're not hoping yes. that we get a righteous leader. Hallelujah. We're not hoping that, oh, God, we, we remove darkness and, and, and a deception from this, this, this city or this land. We are declaring as your legislature, as our position seated in heaven, that this is so. We are declaring, God, there is a turnaround in this nation. I don't care the violence that we're seeing. I don't care the upheaval. And we are with bated breaths waiting for it to become worse. God, you said we have the authority. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we loosed on earth, God, is loosed in heaven. And so this morning, God, we bind principalities and powers that have been rearing its ugly head in this land that says we are a lawless nation. I say not so in Jesus' name. That says we are a lawless city and we're a city of corruption. I say not so in Jesus' name. We declare that we have righteous leaders that rule this land. Yes. We declare that the rule of law is not antiquated and removed, but it is what governs this landlord. We declare that righteousness governs this land. We declare that people of integrity govern this land. That integrity and moral moral excellence and, 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 and walking in things that are yes. honest and true is not a thing of the past, but it is a thing of the present. That we are men and women in this nation of integrity. That we don't walk, oh God, with, with bribery and giving into bribery oh, and giving into, into secret deals. But we walk with men and w that are honesty, uh, honest and upright, Lord, in our standards and in our laws. Mm. God, I declare that over our city. I declare that over our mayors. I declare that over our legislative body yes, in this land, Lord. Yes, I declare, yes. Father... According to your word, that this land is being changed. It is turning around. It is turning around to bring glory to your name. Oh, there is a set time for the man of lawlessness to take over. This is not the time yet, Lord. You have not given him full reign, and we will refuse him and resist him. Oh, God, because you said we have the authority in the land to declare what happens. God, Elijah was a man like you and like like us in this room, and he declared no rain because there was, oh, God, God, crazy things happening in this land and because he declared no rain there were no rain that's right. God we're declaring righteousness in this land yeah, that's right that's what we're declaring God yeah, right. and we're expecting to see the manifestation <laughs> of it we're expecting God the evil that think it is ruling this day to be uprooted and removed and that righteousness again be established in every legislative yeah. body in the city and in this land and we thank you God for the turning of this crazy upheaval in in this country, Lord, where righteousness again overrides the darkness that we yeah, see. Right. You promise, God, that when gross darkness covers the earth, oh, our lights will be shining. Hallelujah. And so I declare, God, in this dark hour, our lights are shining brightly. Yeah, that is right. invading, and the, the darkness cannot Houston. stand still exactly. and remain oh, in our Lord, presence Lord, because Lord, the Lord, light Lord. of God is being shed abroad in oh, every Lord, aspect Lord, of the Lord, city Lord, and this land. Lord, and we Lord, thank Lord. you for that. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for doing all of those things. We thank you, Lord God, that yes, the church is knowing who she is and she's standing up and she's doing it boldly. And this, I just want to thank you, Lord God, that as we go and vote, this is going to be first in our hearts as Christians. To know that everything that we need to vote for, you've already you've already covered it all in your word. It's all in your word. All we need to do is pick it up and read it and think about it and meditate on it. And you will give us understanding. You will give us revelation and how to apply this truth in our current everyday circumstances. And how to even apply it as we go to vote. Who is worthy to be elected? Who is what even worthy to be to, to even be a candidate? Who 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 has the skills and the abilities? And the, and the personality, not only personality, but the characteristics you said a leader should have. Amen. And it's in your word as we pray that the body of Christ will, will search your word for these things. And that we will take it upon ourselves to bring our Amen. knowledge of, spirit of the truth to that forum, to, yeah. that, to that activity. Yeah. And that, Lord, in that way, we will pierce the darkness by bringing Amen. the light to bear in that, yes. by what oh, we God, do. Mama. 
And Lord, we pray that this happens all over the city in every area. Yes. Lord, I do pray, Lord God, that you begin to capture the hearts of those who capture who are in our city government. Yes. Lord, if they do not know you, we pray that they have an encounter with you. Mm-hmm. And that, Lord, you will begin to turn their hearts. But Lord, we do want righteous men and women yes. to hold those seats in city government. Yes. Because so much is at stake. They have so much a power and authority in their hands that impacts so many people. And Lord, even as we're looking at the current ballot right now, it's early voting season here in our city. And we pray that even the rains that are happening today will not deter people from voting. Mm-hmm. They will go and do what they are to do. Yes. They will not wait to the last minute. But they will make sure that they uh, set aside the time to do this, to go and vote, to, in, to inquire into the candidates, to inquire into the issues and the propositions that are on the ballot, and to know exactly how to vote as it compares to the truth of your word. And Lord, we ask, oh God, that you do this. Whether it's Proposition A or Proposition B, they will know how to vote. They will seek you for how to do it and not be swayed necessarily by all the clatter, all the noise in the world. They will know, they will seek you first and get information. And we thank you and praise you, Lord, for for you doing this and for you moving by your spirit as it pertains to all these things in our city. And we thank you, Lord God, that your church is taking her rightful Mm -hmm. place. You've called us to be leaders, Lord. We may not all have some prominent position, but Lord, we will lead where you've placed us. And we thank you, Lord God, for that conviction coming on the hearts of your people. And we thank you for doing it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God, that voting will not be about sentimentalism. Exactly. That your bride will realize the position that we're in and the sacredness of the choices that we make, Lord. Mm -hmm. That we'll not just make because we like a person. But God, we will vote according to your righteous standards and your righteous laws. That we will vote. God, I pray first of all, you will put holy conviction in our hearts as to what you desire and what Mm -hmm. you love, Lord. Not what tradition has said, not what our family has told us, not what culture has dictated to us, but your word will be the plumb line and the standard for our lives, God. And from that standard, God, we will choose, oh God, everything in our lives will line up to that standard. The way we vote, the way we speak, the way we live, the way we conduct our affairs, will all line up according to the truth of your word. So I ask this morning, God, that you will cause your people right across the city as the, as the elections are coming up, Lord, that we will no longer choose according to a political party or according to a person that we like, but according to your word and those who are lining up closely aligning to your word, Lord. God, we do not choose anything that is contrary to your word. And so, God, we ask for these um, legislations that are trying to be put into law, Lord. We ask even now, by the power of your Holy Spirit, just upend that, Lord. Just just, just remove those badness, Lord. We are asking that you step in supernaturally, along with the voting of your people, to just destroy legislations that are not not uh, aligned with your word, Lord. That's right. We ask God that not only will you expose it, but you will, oh God, make it not even come close to passing. God, we ask, we have authority in our prayers, God. We have the power to pray and we have the power to act. And so God, this morning we're choosing in in this as we, we have the opportunity to pray this into being. We are praying, God, that you will begin to revoke legislative laws that have hidden agendas and it. With, with on the outside looks nice, but oh God, they, it, it has hidden agendas and hidden facets, uh, facets that are only according to humans. Um, Agreed, really. God, we pray that you'll just rip rip those apart, Lord. Just expose them and destroy them. Oh, God, set them to naught. Let them be blighted in their pathway. Let them not come to fruition. God, let them be aborted midstream. We do not want any legislation in this city that will not uphold your name, Lord. And so we are asking this morning, the the things that are now looking on, on the table to be passed, God, that you will right now 
just just bore holes in it. Oh God! Oh God! Let let the 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 the, the weight of it just dissipate. Let the plans of it not succeed, Lord. Let the plans of these laws and legislations not succeed. Let righteous laws be upheld, Lord. And so, God, we ask, even those who were, were having such a great desire, God, I see you do it with Pilate. When he wanted to convict <laughs> Jesus, he, uh, his, right. not even his wife could sleep. You would even dream his wife, Lord. God, we're asking for that in the city. Hallelujah. That they will be so uncomfortable until they do what you need Hallelujah. in this land, Lord. So we're asking God, make, make this plan of the enemy to put laws in the city that is not of you asunder. Yeah. Destroy it, Lord. Yeah. Destroy it. We will not have lawlessness in this land. We will not have immorality no. reigning and not parading in the city, Lord. We we declare God because your children, your righteous people are in the city. Only righteousness stand in the city, Lord. Right. And so, God, we ask right now that you just dissipate and just just dissolve these these laws that they're trying to put in 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 place that is not of you, God. And God, I thank you for men and women in your kingdom that will boldly stand up for your truth and your righteousness without waving, without giving in to compromise, without even giving in to intimidation. God, I pray that your word will be upheld in this land and only your word in Jesus' name. Yes, oh God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name, Father God. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, God, for one voice. One voice, yes. Father. Thank yes. you for our voice becoming your voice. That's, That's right. one voice. That's right. For the two becoming one. <laughs> Father, thank you for the two becoming one. For you do amazing things when two become one. Father, when the sea was split in, in Egypt, and it was split, and there, there was two walls, and when the two became one, the Egyptians were destroyed. Mm. Lord, so we ask God, Father, for the <laughs> blood of Jesus Hallelujah. over the church and over America. Yes. Father, we ask for the blood of Jesus to speak as it's continuing to speak over us. Mm -hmm. Father, that the blood, that you would remember us. Yes. That you would remember us, Father, you know, from your throne, that you would uh, remember each and every person. Father, that has called upon your name, that you would remember those, Father, that have been prayed for, that you would hear our prayers, you would hear our cry. Father, and we ask for the blood of Jesus to nullify and to cut off every voice that is trying to speak an opposite word of what you're saying and what you're wanting to have happen. We ask for every voice, Father, of confusion, division, every voice of poverty, lack, and destruction, Every voice, Lord, that is trying to separate uh, father from mother, uh, you know, race and Democrat versus Republican and all yes, the division. Yes, father, we ask, Father, for the two to become one. Mm -hmm. Father, that the enemy would no longer divide and conquer, Lord, but that you would bring a unity among the body of yes. Christ. Father, that denominations would no longer <laughs> continue to multiply, but that your kingdom would multiply and that we would become one. And stop focusing on what we have different, but that we would focus on what you are doing. Right. Father, that we would come together for your plan. Lord, that there wouldn't be a million different voices, that, but there would be one voice. And it's the voice of Christ. Yes. The voice of your blood speaking. So, Lord, we ask that that blood of Jesus would silence those voices. Lord, those, uh, those demonic voices that are influencing people, that are influencing decisions. And bringing uh, enemies' plan to come rather than your plan. So, Lord, we ask this in the name of Jesus. Let yes. unity come to the church. Yes. Father, your unity, not man's plan. Father, and let you let us become one, as your word says, Father, that we are joined to you by one spirit. Mm -hmm. Father, that there is no separation between you and I and us and them. Mm -hmm. Father, that we are all become one in Christ. And so how we treat each other, what we do and say to each other is what we're doing to you. And so, Lord, we just thank you for that revelation. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Father. Father, I come thank against the, the, the rhetorics that are playing on the wounds yes. of the different people in this land, Lord, that is causing greater segregation. Oh, God. God's segregation was fought for in the 60s and won. 
And now we have it coming back. There's a cycle happening in this land, Lord. We're asking that you break the spirit of racism in this land. In the name of Jesus. And God, the, the, the political forces and the demonic entities that are using the wounds of different factions in this land, whether it be Asian or African Americans or the Hispanics or even the whites, God, whatever race we are you said we are all precious in your sight god there is not one race that is superior than the other there's not one yeah. inferior than Thank the other Lord. it is mental slavery that causes us to think these Thank lies because there's Jesus. nothing in your word that says this lord so i ask this morning that there will be no un, un, unrighteous repentance of whites to, to asking for give, forgiveness there will be no um evil or anger held up in the hearts of black men are wondering wanting the whites to pay them back for something that they didn't even do god i pray in the name of jesus that we will learn to forgive yeah. let Hallelujah. the spirit of forgiveness reign in this land lord yeah because there will be nothing that they will do that can erase our history there is nothing that we can do that can say we're sorry enough so God, I ask that instead of looking for it to feel good in our hearts before we let it go, that we learn what you said, forgive, as we have forgive, been forgiven. So God, I ask for the spirit of forgiveness to reign in America. Amen. Let the spirit of forgiveness, not this unrighteous trying to, to make amends, trying to fix what I did. There's nothing. God, when there is nothing we in this room can do that can make us deserving of your redemption. There is nothing that we can do in this land that can make us deserving or forgiving or, or, or repenting, uh, repentant enough of what our past looks like. Jim Crow did happen, Lord. Slavery did happen. Oh God, there was evil in this land. It is the evil of men's heart that has caused this. Right. It is not racism. So God, we ask that, oh God, you will put, oh, there's such a heart of forgiveness that would sweep over this nation, Lord. That we will not re rehash the past, oh, but we will forgive as you have forgiven us. Oh, God. Instead of looking what the, the other race has done, God, we will look to the cross as to what you have done Hallelujah. on our behalf. Hallelujah. And look that we can't pay the price for that which you've done for us. We can't pay the price for all the evil that we've done in our past. And if our past comes up, your blood is what speaks the word that makes us righteous. God, I pray that your blood will sweep across this nation. That when race are looking at each other, they will see your blood. And that your blood, when they ask, where is the justice? They will look to your cross. Hallelujah. That justice is found in your cross. That the justice of our past is found in your cross, Lord. That the evil of slavery is found in your cross. In your cross, Lord. In your cross. It is not going to be, oh, we're going to beat you up so we feel good about ourselves. We'll never feel good about ourselves. It will be an ungodly cycle where we destroy and be self-destructive, Lord. I ask for forgiveness oh, in this God. land. Yes. I ask that yes. forgiveness sweep into the heart. I hear people talking about, I'll never forgive you. God, let that rhetoric change. Yes. Yes. We will never forgive you. You will always have to pay. God, let that rhetoric change. There is no price good enough than your blood. Let your blood ring. Martin Luther King asks for freedom to ring. I'm asking for your blood to ring widely in this land today, Lord. That when we look at the atrocity of our history, we will look at your blood. And that your blood has redeemed us. Because that's exactly what Jesus came to do, Lord. We who were not a people, we who were ostracized and cast out, have no hope of even being reconciled with you. Was made, was, was made whole and joined fitly again because of the blood of your son. God, I ask that the blood of your son mm -hmm. deal with the past of this nation. The blood of your son deal with racism in this land, Lord. That there will not, the whites will not have this un, unrighteous guilt trying to beg penitence. There's no penitence that de brings deliverance. It's, it's forgiveness, Jesus, God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It is forgiveness. 
even as we see in our families, there is nothing that brings healing in families. Because it doesn't matter how much they say they're sorry. It doesn't change what happened. Amen. It is a forgiving heart mm. that joins and reunites. Yes. God, I'm asking for that, Lord, in families, in cities, Ooh, in churches, la, 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 in denominations, la, 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 la. in this land, that Amen. there will be forgiveness. Yes. Let forgiveness, oh God, be upon our hearts and be upon our lips. And it's not something that we feel. It's a decision that we make. Thank you, Lord. Yes, oh God. So God, I ask those who are angry, even with the, the George Floyd thing, Lord. You said it is your desire that none should perish. So instead of looking, oh yeah, you get what you deserve. God, I pray that there will be such a heart of forgiveness that would want to see those who are even prosecuted come into a knowledge of you. Yes. God, let there be forgiveness in this land. Take out the stony, callous hatred in our hearts, God, and replace it with love and forgiveness for our fellow men. Knowing that save you, God, we would be in that same position. It is because of you why we can love. So we ask God, let forgiveness be evident in this land again. And those who are working on the hatred and the bitterness and the pain of our hearts, God, I pray that you will silence them. Those who are working on the wounds and ripping off, as it were, the band-aids of the wounds to bring up back the anger and the hatred because it gives them a political advantage or it, it plays into their advantage. God, I pray that the eyes of your people will be open, that they will no longer be drawn and triggered by these lies. But, oh God, that their hearts will be filled with forgiveness, for forgiveness overlook. Love covers a multitude of sin. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So we ask for that, Lord. Let there be forgiveness in this land. God, even as we see the writing, oh God, replace forgiveness, replace love in their hearts. And God, just as you said to the woman caught in the act of adultery, to the crowd around her, you who are without sin cast the first stone. God, I pray for conviction upon this nation, Lord, that there will be such a conviction in their heart that realize I could be that. Mm. I could make that same mistake. I could have made that same poor choice. Mercy, mercy will triumph over judgment. And we will learn to forgive. Let there be forgiveness in this land we ask in Jesus' name. Yes, we ask all these things in the name of Jesus because we recognize, Lord God, that what we're asking for is impossible unless we know you. Yes. Amen. Unless we walk with you. Unless your word is written in our hearts and our heart of stone becomes a heart, a heart of flesh. And that we, we, as the body of Christ, we decide every day to do what you said do. We pick up our cross and follow you. We crucify that flesh life that we want to live in, that we used to live in. Mm -hmm. And we say we're not living in it anymore. We live by the Spirit and by yes. the Word. And Lord, we recognize that what we're praying for today is not possible unless the people know you. They've given their lives to you. It's impossible mm. for the people of darkness to walk in this light because yes. they cannot do it. It's like oil and water. It does not mix. Mm. And so, Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that there will be a massive move of your spirit in such yes. a way that those who have been yeah. caught in darkness, and in sin and everything and the self and all that stuff that's wrapped up in, in, the, in the life of people who do not know you, that, Lord, they'll be set free by the power of your love yes. and be washed by your blood and recognize, Lord, that even as you said, it is finished. And, Lord, for them, it is absolutely finished. And what, they, what we, we've just prayed is their reality. Yes. That, Lord, the sins and the things that they lived in is in the past. Yes. It doesn't exist anymore. And so it cannot be used by the enemy. Mm -hmm. And so we pray. We pray for those who do not know you to come to know you. Yeah. We pray, Lord, that there yeah. will be such a move of your spirit yeah. and such an yes. awakening in our city and in our state. That, Lord God, that those who do not know you will come to know you. Yes. yes. 
and that as they come to know you, they will they will do all that you say do. They will they will uh, put they will pick up their cross daily and follow you. They will live yes. for you. Yes. In everything that they do, they will do it for you as under God. And so we thank you, Father, for doing this in us. We know, yes. Lord God, that what we're praying cannot be done any other way. Yes, yes. It will be religious. It will not be right. Yes, yes. We're not praying about religion, which yes. is based yes. on rules. Yes. We're praying for Our those change. who have a relationship with you, Our change, yes. who have their hearts changed because you've touched our lives. Yes. And we recognize that apart from you, we would be nothing. Yes. Apart from you, we will still be wandering around in darkness. Mm. Apart from you, we will be nothing. And so we pray that that realization comes heavily upon the hearts of your people in this day. And that, Lord, we will continue yes. in, our, in, our, in our quest of, of being like Christ in the earth. Yes. Continue to die daily, as you say. Yes. And as we die, we live for you. And we know that seems contradictory, Lord, and it does to the people of the world. But those of us who are in the body of Christ, we recognize that this is what you've called us to. Yes. Amen. And because of that, we pray that, yes, there will be a, an amazing, a huge evangelistic anointing yes. that falls upon your church. Yes, Lord. Lord, the word needs to go out. Yes. It needs to go forth. Those who have not heard, who have not had their eyes open, they will see. Yes, yes. They will see that which only you can do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that, Lord, you will move upon their hearts to receive what only you can give. Yes. Thank you, they will continue to be angry and bitter until they are healed and delivered. And that healing and deliverance comes from you. Yes. No other place. Yes. So we thank you, Lord God, for intervening, for using our prayers this yes. day yes. to reach a soul. Yes, Amen. To reach a soul. Yes. Hallelujah. To turn thank a heart you, for you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of coming into your presence. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Lord. Lord, we, you, as your word says, we know not how to pray, but your spirit leads us and guides us. Mm. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading us and guiding us today. Hallelujah. You have surely Hallelujah. done that. And Lord, we want to thank you for the souls that are coming to a place of peace and healing and deliverance today. Yes. Because yes. of this time of prayer. Thank you. Because of yes. your people who are seeking your face, mm -hmm. crying out to you. Thank that you. we love our city, we love our nation, yes. we love because, because you loved us first. Yes. Lord, we didn't know how to do this apart from you. Apart from you, we would still be the, 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 uh, in the hands of the enemy doing the kind of things he would have us do. But, yeah. Lord, we are now in your hands. Yes. We are now filled with your spirit. We are now walking in your truth, the only truth. Yes. Your truth is the only truth that is forever settled in heaven. Jesus, you said it. It's forever settled in heaven. It is in your word. This is the truth. It is a light unto our path. It directs our steps. And so we thank you and praise you for doing that. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, mm -hmm. for this realization coming deep into the hearts of your people. That all of our city, all of our nation, Christians are having an aha moment. I understand now. Mm -hmm. And we are doing things differently from this day forward. Mm -hmm. And it is as unto you, O oh God, as unto you. It's for you. It's for your will to be done. Yes. It's for your kingdom to come. Yes. 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 Thank you. Lord. It's for your name's sake. It's for your glory. Yeah. Not yes. for our glory. Yes. It's for your glory. Yes. Lord, you are the only one that needs recognition. You are the only one that needs the praise. You are the only one that deserves it. Lord, we are here to serve you. Our lives are not our own. We are bought with a price. The precious blood of Jesus. And so we thank you that we know that. We thank you, Lord God, for using your people in this incredible hour that we're in. That now, like no other time, is the time for us to stand and having done all to keep standing, knowing that, Lord, our labor is not in vain in you. That as we stand for you on the foundation, the secure foundation of your word, that, Lord, we will be able to stand We'll be able to serve you without fear, without trembling. Mm. With any of those things, we'll be able to serve you with absolute confidence. Mm. 
And we thank you for how you're going to use us, your people in this hour. We pray, Lord God, that all over our city there will be encounters with yes. you. Thank you, Lord, yes. That your people will hear your voice. Glory be to your name. They will, they will, they will mount Jesus. up with such courage Glory, Lord, to stand in Lord. difficult places. Lord, as we read through your word, Lord God, this is not something new. It's always been this way. No. You always send your people to difficult places to do difficult things. But Lord, you didn't send us there without remedy. You sent us there with your spirit, with your word, and you have promised you would always be with us. And we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord God, for that confidence that can come only from you. Lord, we pray for pastors, those who have the privilege of preaching every week, every Sunday morning, that Lord, they will be carriers of the same message that we are to be bold in you and we are called not to a building but to a city and a region to serve you in that region <clears throat> and Lord we pray Lord for that liberty yes. that comes from you to be upon the body of Christ to serve you in all these areas and Lord where we don't may not know what we're doing that's okay we know who to ask you are our wisdom Yes. You are our wisdom. Your yes. word is our wisdom, and you are our wisdom. Yes. And so, Father, you truly have already given us everything we need for yes. life and godliness. That's so I true. pray, we pray today mm. that the church will walk in it. Yes. That the church will demonstrate who she is in you. Yes. And in so doing, we'll bring glory and honor to your name. Oh, we pray all of these things. Oh. In the precious name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, mm. we thank you for hearing us. Yes, My goodness, what a time of prayer this was today. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you for joining us from wherever you're watching and praying with us. Just keep praying. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yes. Just keep praying. Keep pressing in. God, will. he always hears us, and we will see a change. We will see these changes take place. Amen. But the responsibility is partly ours. We've got to take, grab a hold of the horns of the altars and continue to, uh, the altar and continue to cry out Amen. and trust God. So thank you for praying with us. This is SABWB, Believe in God for Change and Transformation in the City of San Antonio. Thank you. Bless you. See you next week.